I called it, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Who wants it then? <laughs> I feel like I really wanted it to be make, but decent. <laughs> Do remind me next time I'm on TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm on TV by the way. To not be hungover when you have to travel up. So I'm having to travel up today, which is a Sunday, because I think we've got like a 6:30 start. The train's coming. I think we've got a 6:30 start. I'm excited for it. I'm going up to Piccadilly, getting the taxi to Clever Road or to the hotel. I'm excited. A little bit stressed, but we'll speak about that on route. <laughs> I was so stressed that I was going to miss the train. You know when you just hung over and you just can't think properly? That's me, but we're on. We're getting it. I'm actually going from Bark Green to Birmingham New Street, Birmingham New Street to Crewe, Crewe to Piccadilly, and then get a taxi. Everything's been paid for as well. Taxis, trains, everything's been told. I feel like a proper star, you know? A bit stressed about this crumble. They changed it this morning from a cheesecake, which I've mastered, which you'd have seen, and now I'm doing a wheat-free and dairy-free crumble that I've never made. I just had a go at it, it was shit. I've also been told that the person doesn't actually, which you'll already know because you've watched the show, the person doesn't actually get to like know who's made whatever, so it's gonna be on, obviously we'll have a bit of banter, have a little flirt, all that good stuff. She's not gonna know, and she's gonna really be picking on either effort, I'm hoping, or actual, uh, Actual taste. Have a laugh at him. <laughs> Touchdown in money, pick it in it. Now I'm gonna have to go find. My taxi guy, he's been messaging me actually, it's a fair play to him, they're on the ball. And you know what the funny thing is? You guys and myself will have already watched this because this vlog is going to be going out after the program. Due to like confidentiality reasons, whatever, I don't know what the crack is and I don't really want to make it obvious to them because they might say no, no filming at all, no behind the scenes at all. But yeah, hopefully I've done well. Have on, have on. Hello, mate. Uh, yeah. So I better do a room tour as everyone loves it. Here's the bathroom. Where's the lot? It's okay, we're in like a village e hotel, country club or whatever. I don't know what this is for, a little sitting room. It's okay. I'm going mad about it. It'll do the job. So we're in. One thing I don't like about hotel rooms is if they don't have a plug next to the bed, oh, I've got a problem about it. Like I like to have my phone next to me, recording my sleep, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, we're in. It's all right. It'll do. It's a bit hot. I think they're like preparing for winter. But I thought I'd just run you through how I kind of got on this show. So basically, like six months ago, probably at the start of lockdown, I spoke with a casting guy and he's basically put me forward for loads of different things. You have to do interviews kind of like this. You have to send through like what you're into, what type of girls you're into, all that sort of stuff. And he puts it forward to the producers. Now, I've been doing that for the last six months and I really get on with him. He sounds like he always says, like usually, like if I don't reply in three weeks, just know that you haven't got through. But he always then messages me after saying, look bro, sorry he didn't get through. I'm going to put you forward for this, is that okay? Yeah, sound. Anyway, I get back from my beefer, obviously tanned up, feeling myself. And he says, oh, I've got a new one, new show coming up. It's a cooking show and whatever. Do you want to put yourself forward? I said, yeah, why not? We'll give it a go. Absolutely. So then, I get a phone call interview, I got through that. I then have a FaceTime interview, which I haven't done before. Usually it's just like a recorded vlog, send it over. 
So I did a FaceTime. I didn't think I did that well. Like all the others, I thought, you know what, I've smashed this. But this was the one I didn't think I did well at. But obviously I had. So then, where are you? We're through. I'm a little bit, as I say, nervous. I could have really done without having to do the cooking. So I'm gonna be nervous as it is. I can't lie, I'm gonna be nervous. I am a confident guy, but it's a new experience. I've also got a little spot there. Not ideal. Go to bed, because as I say, we've got to be up and out at quarter past six. Not ideal. Good morning, how are we? It's half five. I didn't really get, I don't feel tired, which is a mad thing. I didn't get the best of sleep. I was like getting up every hour and I work at one point and I was like, it's time. I'm gonna look at my phone, it's time. I'd only been in bed for like half an hour. I'm quite excited, still quite nervous. But we're gonna have it. Shitty continent of breakfast, like just toast and whatnot. I know. Uh, we're gonna have it. We're gonna get it. I've had a word myself. Mike, you're gonna have it, ain't you? Yeah, bring the energy. Coffee on hand. But first, I'm gonna have a shot. So here we have the outfit of choice. You can't wear any spots, any branding, any logos, any stripes. White you can't wear because of the lighting. So we've gone for the rep. T inside out, it's my new monster. The rep fits a dream. We've gone for the ASOS cargos, they're now sold out. People, so please don't ask with the tracks. Now, things myself, do I go like my style, like this oversized stuff, or do I go a bit basic? Bitch, I can't, I think the others are going to go a bit basic. Bitch, I don't know, I haven't seen them yet. I'm about to go and see them. But I thought, you know what, stay true to yourself. If the girl likes my fashion, sweet, she doesn't. I don't want to go on a date anyway. Let's go. So we're in, lads. We are in. It's not at a studio. I thought it was going to be at a studio. I need to be real, like, careful. But I'm going to get it for you guys. I'm a little bit nervous now. It's not at a studio, as I said. I thought it was going to be like a Warner Bros. It's at, like a bar and bistro, but they've got a lot of lighting up. They used to do that type of stuff, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. A lot of rigging. I've just seen inside, I think, where we're going to be filming. I'm assuming that. It looks good. Just waiting in the taxi now for whoever, because we don't want to see the girl. It's all very logistical, as the woman said. Had to tag her for my test. Let's see what happens. And there we have it. Now, if you haven't watched the episode, go and watch it now on the ITV hub. It'll be on there, you'll find it. If you need any help, message me. So quick spoiler alert, don't watch this if you haven't already watched it. I can't lie, I'm pretty buzzing. I was, I felt very overwhelmed this week. Very, like, a little bit nervous, as you would. I'm only human, had a few beers, calm me down. But at the start, I was like, right. Mike, my name's Dwayne, but I was like, oh shit. I fucked it here, like, the lads all week were bantering me, saying, what happens if you shit out, like, you're this confident guy, you're on YouTube, whatever, but what happens if you get onto it, and you fuck, like, it. I was like, nah, I'm sweet, I was shit myself, I went on, I was like, oh, but I think we got into it, I think I kind of warmed to it, I got more confident, you got to remember, there's more than just five people in there, there's loads of people behind the camera, now, I wanted to do like a massive wrap up. I wanted to say the behind the scenes, like bits that you don't see, but obviously due to confidentiality reasons, I don't want to say that. I don't want to piss anyone off, so I'm going to keep it shush. All I will say is it's so much more fun. It's not really that scary. It's not really that like strict. It's just it's just a good laugh. It's an amazing experience. Shout out to the lads that I did it with. Shout out to everyone who supported. Shout out to George Represent. I kind of know Melissa and she obviously saw it, told him. He messaged me saying, good luck, boss. I was like, yo, George Represent. I know I've got a lot of Represent subscribers. That was sick. That hyped me up. But I just want to say a massive thank you. Now, a little teaser, yeah? I don't know if I can say it, so we're going to play it like this. You might just be seeing me on another episode. You might even see me on two episodes. I can't tell you if I am or not. But yeah, it might even be Monday or Tuesday of next week. That's all I'm going to say. I just want to thank everyone for the support, the love, the shares, the just everything. 
I'm actually buzzing and I want to thank you all. Thank you, good night. It's been emotional.